Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Bold CNC Works. My name is Nugent. Today we're going to do a little test to see which image format is the best for using with the Norton Wattail method. We are going to be um, doing the experiment between bitmap or PNG. On top of that, we are going to be using Stucky or either um, pass through to see which one of them works best with the PNG file or the bitmap file. So first let's decide which image to burn. I think I'm going to be using the photo of my wife that I've been using for a couple of sessions now. So let's go to image R and start this whole process. Okay, let's go to upload. here let's go down image of my wife okay now I'm going to use a round crop for this image let's click on crop okay, let's just give it a second I keep on clicking on the ads. Scroll down more. Click on crop. Scroll down. Square crop. And we're going to be rounding the edges. Let's just scroll up and see. Yes, I think that would be good. Let's just move this up a little more. Now that seems to be okay. Now, hmm, I clicked off of it. Let's just click again. Scroll down. And click crop. Okay. I will see our image is cropped. I want to resize it. Because we're working in millimeters. I'm going to resize it to 90 millimeters round as well as 318 for DPI. The reason why I'm choosing 90 millimeters is because we're going to be engraving four images on that 198 by 198 millimeters so this works out to 180 with a little gap in between we want to see the difference between the pictures without them touching and also i want to include some text but i won't do the text here okay and go to material I'm going to be using norton Norton what tile. Click OK. And wait for it to render. Just give it a couple of minutes. And there we go. We'll scroll down. Give some time that is that's how it will engrave now here we will download our bitmap this ad supports this website it's a free website just click close now i also want to do a png download okay so let's go to our tour first we're going to be doing a square Let's just unlock it there. Turn this output on. We want this 198 by 198. Yes, it is the line. Now the second one is a bit extra, but I just no. Let's do it 
what will be 198 and it will be one millimeter tall let's just use the select tool find it in the middle just move it back down now i want to duplicate this and turn it 90 degrees Now this one I'm going to put on the blue layer, this one I'm going to put on the red layer. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to, I want to divide it into four quadrants so that you can clearly see which is which. So let's start, I want to put P and G at the top, it's a bit big. Make it a little smaller. Just put it there. I'm going to duplicate this. Put it there. And I'm going to be typing in the bit map. Okay. Now for the we to duplicate this again. Move it to the left hand side, minus 90, and this is going to be our stucky. I'm going to duplicate this again, move it down, and then double click on it. So let's see, allows me to do that. Stuck here, we're going to go pass through. Excuse my spelling. I'm going to move this just a bit to the left. And this one, we're going to be, I'm going to also put this on the blue layer. Now we can add our photo. Now PNG, as we said, we're going to put this one here. Now we're going to duplicate, move this one here. Of course, both of these we will use PNG. Now we can go with the bitmap. put it there we'll duplicate this one just control D or you can right click on it and go to duplicate okay now for the ones on stucky we are going to put them on the green this one as well because they both are going to be done using stuck you know this we're going to put on the yellow layer this one as well now let's go into the settings now 318 is what we use don't want to do constant power it's 1500 80% power, not constant. Okay. Now our blue line, we're just going to doing it at 90 degrees. Just be a bit faster. Now our green is the one for stucky. Also 1500, 80% power. 318 as you can see it shows stucky and then the last one will be our pass through 80 percent going to click this on 
there, so let's just turn this layer on as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now we are going to go over to the laser and do these files. I will see you again in a bit to discuss which one was the best. Now, for you who don't know where to get your settings, I will link to the top right hand corner to a video that I did how to work a power scale or how to complete a power scale. Then also, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share this video with a friend. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen um yes just finished cleaning this style and to my surprise pass through with bitmap is the best one if you look at stucky on png it is the most washed out and then on the bitmap it is kind of like she's dirty or something you see and then pass through with the png it's okay but when you look at pass through on bitmap it's like it's like exactly like a black and white photo so my recommendation would be 
pass through with bitmap but we all have to do our own experiments so yes i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe see you next time bye